But I'll tell you a team Go who on. I'm a little bit worried about um, is West Ham. Oh, yeah, we just said they're just overtaking Arsenal. Yes, but I'm worried about them. Oh, you're worried about them? The now. reason being, they've signed a goalkeeper on loan mm. yeah. who, you know, is not really going to make too many... Um, you know, it's not going to set the world alight, right? It's not going yeah, to... I they, get it. Jesse Lingard wasn't interested in coming back. That's a, that's Hasn't a, yeah. tried to get... Set, well, Maybe questions over Tammy Abraham going there, which I thought would have been a great signing. All looking sort of brilliant all of a sudden, then bang. Season yes. starting, they've got one striker in Antonio, who's a year older now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who struggles with injuries, will get injured in the season. We know this. That's yeah. to do a lot of work. So they haven't got forward. Now, I've, I'm going to put it out there, and I've said this before, I think they're going to struggle. I think they're going to be fighting relegation. If they don't get some players in quickly and strengthen that squad, West Ham are going to be fighting relegation. Well, I'm not so sure relegation is is uh, is is on the cards because I they've think they've got the Europa League. They're in that as well. They do. They, they haven't do. got a squad. They do. The squad's not big enough. They do. Um, I'm not so sure relegation though is, is is a fear. But I take your point. I take your point about not being able to to strengthen when they're going to need the depth of that squad. And we've seen other sides. Burnley's the one that springs to mind going into the Europa League. Struggle with the games early on. Struggle with the, the the lack of depth of that squad. And West Ham, well, the transfer window's not over yet. That's one thing I think we have to remember. Yeah. It's not shut. It's not slam shut yet. Still, it's still open, mate. In mm. fact, it's very wide open. But don't you think West Ham should have gone for someone like Joe Willock? They need they need that player. Jesse Lingard was brilliant for them at the yeah, end of the Jesse season. Yeah, Jesse Lingard's going to be a miss. He did he did go quite a little quiet towards the end. Yeah, not quite enough, though. No. They got it done over the line. They got Europe. That's what they needed. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be disappointed. Let's get them on. Uh, West Ham fans, 08717223244. We've got Andrew, who is a West Ham fan. Andrew, do you agree with me a little bit? Uh, uh, yeah, all right, guys. Um, I don't agree about the relegation battles there, Jay. I think that's a bit... I think we've we've pushed on a little bit from that. I understand what you mean. I think we're a few injuries away from having a struggling season. But one thing we have got, we've got a good starting eleven. We've got a decent back four... A, Decent midfield in Susek and Rice and Bowen and Ben Rama and a decent centre forward. So we're a solid team with a solid base. But you've got to progress, though. You've got Europe yeah, as well. Totally you know, agree. Saturday, totally Tuesday, agree. Saturday, Tuesday. Well, Saturday, Thursday. Sunday, yeah, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday Thursday, Sunday, Thursday. A hundred percent, I agree. And that's what I'm most annoyed with. I'm optimistic. We've had one of the best seasons we've had in five, ten years, probably. And I was really hoping the chairman would, would back David Moyes this season. I'm not saying we've got the money of Chelsea or City, but at least throw 50, 60 million and get yeah. two or three 20 million pound players. I'm looking at the squad. I was going through it the other day. We're probably worse off this year than the squad we were last year losing Lingard. Yeah, you are. I just, I just can't so how can you be optimistic into- then? Well, because I think we have got a good 11. Like We're playing Newcastle this weekend and I, I, I expect us to go up there with our strong, without any injuries, no doubt Antonio will probably go down with a hamstring injury. Oh, that's a concern. Yeah, yeah, that is that is a concern. And and you know, throughout last season, he was a huge miss. You were a totally different side with him in it. Yeah, and we haven't replaced him. I'm I'm hoping with it. I'm hearing there's rumours of Origi from Liverpool. I don't think he would be a bad signing. I just think we need a body in there because we don't have anyone at the club if he does go down. We haven't even got another centre forward. I think we tried Bow in there at a few games and he can do a job there, but he's not a natural centre forward. Yeah. You wouldn't really want to go on a run of games with him playing central forward. Andrew, forward you, lo- you lose your first few games of the season. Yeah. Pressure's going to be on all of a sudden because the fans, we know, at West Ham will turn very quickly. I think they yeah, I've, it I've helped you last season it. not having fans in the ground because that was a toxic place to go and play your football if you're a West Ham player last season. Or well, the season the before, Premier- sorry. The Premiership's like that for every team, though. You'll find that for every team. Like, if Tottenham lose the first two or three games in the season, they'll be on the manager's back. Is that's The Premiership is like that. There's no easy game every game. We've got Newcastle this weekend. That's a massive game for them. If they lose a couple of games, they'll be. It's just, it's just all about winning. It's, the pressure's on every team this season. Yeah. Crystal Palace are in the same boat. Every team's got to get off to a good start, and uh, we're no different. Okay, all right. Thanks for your call, Andrew. Let's get Reese, who's a, a West Ham fan as well. Reese, good evening. Hi, How Reece. are you? Hello, hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, we're good, mate. We're good. Look, what what do you make of the current situation at West Ham? I haven't really signed anyone. Brought GK in on loan. It's not good enough for a team that have just got into the Europa League. Um, right, so far, yeah, you've got a point. 
but the transfer window's not over, uh, over yet, and I think we're getting this Milinkovic in from Fiorentina centre back. He's meant to be decent. I think we need another body there. I think if we get like, like the last guy I said a Reed up front because the trouble is Antonio is our number one striker, and a lot of people know that we're, we're signing a backup sort of to support Antonio. Why are you signing a backup though? Signing Tammy Abraham or Danny Ings? You're in I'm Europe. Have Antonio. Antonio, I think Antonio, Tammy Abraham. Yeah, I, I get, but I think that's got Hallam Mark two written over it. We, we tried to sort of hold up striker. It didn't really work for our system. We like to break on teams, a bit of pace and power. Um, but as for us going down, I mean, come on. Uh, well, no, I'm serious. I genuinely, no, I genuinely, I feel like if West Ham don't pull their finger out and the owners need to pull the finger out and sign some decent players, you're going to struggle because when all of a sudden hey, you've got to play Sunday, Thursday. Say that again. We've got a better 11 than Spurs at the minute. We went through, but apart from Son and Romero, possibly, who would get in our team? Oh, you've gone there. You've gone there, Reese. You've oh, gone there. God. You... He's got, he's had a. I mean, it's a fair. Romero. Well, Larice. Larice gets. Larice. Lucas Mora. Um, Who said of Bowen or now? No, thanks. Yeah, he would. Reggie on as well. Come from Real Madrid, top player. Oh, yeah. He's struggling, Reggie. I think the only one is mid- the, your midfield with Declan Rice and Suchek. Top midfield. Top midfield. I'll give you that. Yeah. Hoiberg was, yeah. is a brilliant player. as well. Yeah, they're So, I, I'd say I'd say 70% of it is Spurs. Let's well, see if you can beat us this year, eh? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Be interesting. <laughs> but if you, if you don't sign any players... If you don't really yeah, sign any players, yeah, you'll be worried about being Crystal Palace and Brentford. We have got to get some... You know, the first 11's brilliant. On paper, our first 7's great. I think we'll smash Newcastle. We'll be, we've seen us in pre-season. Didn't you play the first game of last body. season? Yeah. It's What's the score? Story, it? What's the score? I can't, yeah, we'll can't remember. No, honestly, I can't remember. What, yeah, but what, what did we do last season? What was, what, the what, what was the score? You, you smashed them last season, I'm guessing. Three, it's four nil, was it? Right in the end. It, it turned out quite nicely, Europe in the end. No, so I'm just asking, just asking, first game of the season against Newcastle, like this season. We've def- we've, we've you smashed them by how many at home? Oh, and we just, and we just smashed them at home last season? Well, well, wait, wait, yeah, hang on. What happened after hold on, that? Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Two points oh, of Champions League. Uh, hold on, you lost. Two points of Champions League. I just, um, hold on, you just lost. I just found that you lost. Hang on, as this now about struggling with fans in the ground, what a load of cods wallet. But you lost to Newcastle last year. You ask any, you ask any, you ask any player whether they want us in the ground or not. Hundred percent. Reese, where, where's this? Reese, are you going to so smash Newcastle? Is that ground is like a major atmosphere when they're losing. Reece, there, isn't, is it? Reese, <laughs> are you going to smash Newcastle like you did last year? Um, first game of the season. But why are we talking about last year? No, I'm just asking. First game of the season, you, Newcastle. So you think first Newcastle, game of the season you think this Newcastle year. Newcastle can live with us on, set, on Sunday. I'm just asking, what's going to happen? You're telling me. Newcastle, good side. All good, right? good side. Good side, mate. Finished 12th last season, good side. Underrated, yeah. I'm telling you. Where did we finish? Sixth. So, yeah. why are we worried about Newcastle? And you ain't signed anyone. You signed a GK on loan. Newcastle. So, we're going to the the Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.